It's Halloween at At The Music. And to celebrate, we've joined a cult. We now worship this disembodied head that makes us wear these hats. Take off the hats. Oh, do we have to? Yes. On their new album, Lightweight, it seems like Ocean Party, just like this guy, aren't at their best when they've had a few Chardonnays, a nice tall lager and half a vodka. But wouldn't you, Zach, if you'd been exercising earlier that day and hadn't eaten since half eleven? Full disclosure, mm -hmm. I think that the two things that I'm basically outdone, like that I'm done with, Here we go. are disco music mm -hmm. and jangle, Melbourne jangle music. But, to the Ocean Party's credit, I think it's a very good jangle record. Yeah. You know, and I was listening <laughs> the to The best it. of the year, I think. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I think it's actually, uh, yeah, it's much better than I think like the Twerps record that came out this yeah. year, which got them. I think it's actually really good and kind of got me very much in the mood for jangle. I mean, the single, what I can only assume is the single, mm. is comfortably like the, 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 the crowning achievement of the record. Yeah. But around that, the whole thing is really good. I mean, I think that the different um, songwriters and different vocalists really give it like a nice flow. It's one of the straighter kind of jangle records in a way. Like it's sort of, it's very much that go-betweens influenced uh, the guitar music. But there's, I think that they really have come out as some of the best at it. Yeah, I think there are some other influences that are a little, <coughs> a little rarer in the other releases. Like there's sort of like a 4AD sort of sound to their guitar. So it's a bit dreamier, I thought, than mm. the other releases. It's, it's quite comfortably sort of grounded in like the 80s. Yeah, much more so, yeah. yeah. But I think it's a testament to their talent and their skill and their songwriting that they could, you know, jump over what is for me an increasingly high hurdle into me enjoying something. Mm. If you're coming out with a jangly guitar, I'm pretty ready to not enjoy anything you yep, have to say. Yep. But despite that, they jangled their way into, into my your heart. heart. Yeah. So I'm going to give it um, a very harsh three Zacks and half a Gotchi. Zack, Zack, Zack. Gotchi. Okay. I'm going to give it four Zacks. Zack, 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 Zack. Kelha. Is she the next big thing or just the next fun thing to say? Well, on her new EP, Hallucinogen, Kelha is just being Kelala for Kelala and not for not Kelala. Matt. Kelala. To continue on the old fogey train that you so well laid down with the ocean party, um, I'm kind of sick of the new neo soul sound. Sure. That, that's, that's really come into the fore with artists like FKA Twigs and that sort of thing. Sure. I didn't find it particularly, the beats at least, I didn't find particularly sophisticated. They weren't wowing me. Maybe I'm just used to it or they're not as intricate as they have been in the past. It's definitely like the new trendy pop sound, obviously, I mean, post FK Twix. It seems unfair to kind of compare it, except that it so definitely is sort of, I mean, the fact that it's got Arca doing the beats and Arca did the FK Twix beats, so even to the fact that the production is from the same, uh, some of the same producers, right down to the album cover. I can see why you're like tired of that as a sound, but I think comfortably it's one of the better records, I think, that's done it. It's not just like a beat, and then the vocalist singing over the top of it, which so many of these are. What's nice is that she does then in turn cook her own vocals so as to become like as glitchy and as kind of skittering as the beats yeah, themselves. Yeah, kind of instrumental. So it yeah. doesn't have that kind of annoying divide where you get like that boom, and then you just feel like someone's kind of just, you know, fucking around over the top of that, you know what yeah, I mean? Which a yeah. lot of this music has been. I think that the actual interplay between her vocals and the sort of, uh, and the beats is much tighter much more concise. The last two tracks, I was quite cynical for the first three, but yeah, the last two tracks, like, yeah, you're right, they do get, they've got a bit of meat to their bone. I, I think I'm just over like the, like, you know, the, it's basically what um, D'Angelo really made his thing in the 90s, was like that really sort of stuttering, like kick hi-hat thing, yeah. and then like, oh, the beat drops, and then his voice comes in over the yeah. top. So I'm just not as moved by it these like days. So I didn't really, late, yeah, I just like, uh, 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 I don't hate it. Yeah. It just it just didn't blow my mind. For me personally, I reckon it's a three Zach and half. Zach, Zach, Zach. Gotcha. I think it's one of the better records that have come out of its kind. I'm gonna give it a full four Zachs. Zach, 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 Zach. Mm. Mm. I hate how the head makes us do this all day. Mm. Take off the hats. <gasps>
You can talk? 